JSAT is implementing agency for the German Sri Lankan development cooperation in the country and um, had microfinance activities as one of the major areas of intervention. Promise project or uh, the promotion of the microfinance uh, project implemented by uh, the Ministry of Finance together with the GIZ, GIZ uh, is a project aimed towards uh, strengthening and broadening the microfinance sector in Sri Lanka on a sustainable basis. Promise had a multi-level approach. Rather than concentrating on just one small segment of the sector, we took a holistic view of the sector and worked at all levels, so at macro, meso, micro, all the way down to the microfinance client. And in our view, that, was a, that has a longer and deeper impact because it gives the microfinance institutions a supporting environment and an infrastructure which helps them to grow and to change as the needs of their clients grow and change. GIZ, they gave all the support to work with the poor women through microcredit in this area. Actually, in the 2006, we were working with about 3, 000, uh, 3 million portfolio, but that gradually increased to 38 million now. We are basically a network of uh, a large uh, microfinance uh, movement. We have about 8,000 thrift and credit cooperative societies, of which 1,000 cooperative societies we wanted to standardize and upgrade the processes and procedures and uh, bring into uh, one uh, system. Our mandate is also very similar to what the, uh, the promise. We uh, believe in eradicating poverty through uh, livelihood development, microfinance and capacity building. GIC itself did a unique uh, study in Sri Lanka on the outreach of financial services, which uh, was unique in the sense that it was the first study of that kind which focused on use of financial services. We saw the need to bring about some sort of regulatory framework to microfinance. And we, we uh, spoke to a number of donor agencies because we didn't have capacity in the country to get some assistance to set up a microfinance regulatory network and strengthen the microfinance organizations. And it is through that that the Promise project came into being. From the inception, GI said is helping the Lanka Microfinance Practitioner Association. We were able to educate the grassroots level people how to borrow funds and how to develop their lifestyles and uh, access to funds and manage their businesses. We have uh, obtained the uh, assistance from the Frankfurt School of Finance, Germany. Uh, especially for the development of course materials and the uh, training of uh, trainers uh, as well as the uh, monitoring and assessment. We were able to mainstream microfinance and bring, bring it to as the, main, as, as the main poverty alleviation strategy in Sri Lanka by developing the microfinance institutions by getting the support of the policy authorities in the country to pursue microfinance strategies. This PROMISE program, I think, as far as Sri Lankan government is concerned, it's delivered very good results. Uh, so we are happy to say that uh, that has paid the way because anyway our poverty of the country also reduced from almost 23% to uh, recently numbers are only 8-7% now.